السلام عليكم انا دكتور صباح من كليه الطب الكندي في فرع الفصلجه اليوم عندنا سيمينار ويا مجموعه من الطلاب المرحله الاولى كليه الطب الكندي 15/3/2018 اليوم خميس راح نقدم السيمينار اثنين من الطلاب طلاب من الكليه هم يقدمون نفسهم وياكم فهد حيدر من جروب بي 1 المرحله الاولى كليه طب الكندي وزميلي وياكم حسام حيدر طالب كليه كندي بي 3 ويا سوري وياكم هسه بدايه السيمينار السلام عليكم Today we are going to talk about homeostasis. My name is Hussam Haidar. First of all, if we're going, where we need to talk about something, we first to we need to put our basics. We need to know the objectives about our seminar today. Our objectives will be the definition of homeostasis. We're going to know what is homeostasis. هذا الترم اللي احنا دائما نتعامل به بالفسلجه الفيزيولوجي و also we gonna talk about the system involved in regulating homeostasis the systems in the body that regulate the homeostasis and feedbacks اللي هي مثل ما نقول ال ال pathway مال homeostasis نوعه وال general feedback loop اللوب feedback راح نشرحه لكم So for the first slide, please. So this is the objective. Objectives mean that what we are going to talk about. Okay, we have to put it in the in the in the in the beginning. Okay, and for four and five, these are they are going to talk about how the homeostasis work by feedback, either negative. Or was it? Next slide. Uh, as you are sitting here doing nothing, your cells, your tissues, your organs, and organ system are working together just to maintain homeostasis. Homeostasis means uh, to be stable, equilibrium. Okay. So we have here the definition. Homeostasis means the tendency of the body or the ability of the body. To seek and maintain a condition of balance, okay, with the, its internal environment. So we have internal environment, our bodies, and we have external and change, okay. So the body uh, has homeostasis systems to maintain its balance. Sure, homeostasis is. Now we are in the homeostasis. As far as you are stable. We are in homeostasis state. So here we're gonna talk and uh, we're gonna ask you a question. What do you think if homeostasis is introduced by something? Okay. Yes, sir. I guess you will be sick or some accumulation will occur in the body because it's regulating some some functions of the of the cells. So you might uh, one of the major diseases that causes the damage of the homeostasis is the diabetes. I guess. Well, good, right, good. Let's see, okay. So, any disease or gay is not, is not homeostasis. Yeah. Homeostasis it's means disturbing. normal. It's normal. Yeah. Physiology. The normal homeostasis, condition. yes. The equilibrium of the body. Yes. Okay. Next slide, please. So, uh, here the homeostasis is maintained by feedback loops, okay? And we have two kinds of feedback positive and negative, okay? But positive doesn't mean a good thing, and neg uh, negative doesn't mean a bad thing. Okay? So, this so these two loops work, work not uh, as together. Sometimes they correlate with each other. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. okay, uh, such as uh, when there is clotting of the blood, okay? <laughs> clotting of the blood, the clot, the fate of the clot, sometimes, okay, this is what it will be. Negative, and it will be bad uh, sometimes. Okay, uh, when it, it clotted in so something in the brain, and uh, it will uh, uh, cause uh, uh, some disease. Yes. Oh. So, so the term positive or the word positive doesn't mean always a good thing, and negative doesn't mean a bad thing. And we have two systems 
involved in homeostasis. We have the endocrine system and nervous system. They work together to maintain the homeostasis of the body. Next slide, please. Well, in, uh, in turn to understand the systems involving in uh, regulating this homeostasis, we're going to uh, explain to you in, a, in just a brief uh, essay uh, the nervous system. First, we have the nervous system, which consists of the central nervous system, as we call CNS, and the peripheral nervous system that we call PNS. Central nervous system, the brain, and the medulla, and the, uh, the vertebral column, the spinal cord, and the peripheral uh, nervous system consists of the, all the peripheral nerves uh, that branches from the central nervous system. So, uh, the nervous system um, uh, contributes in maintaining homeostasis. By what? By fast electrochemical chemical. Uh, electrochemical signals it travels along the neuron as we studied in the physiology of the nerves uh, to the organ or tissue, the target organ or tissue and it's the most faster system in the body because it, uh, uh, why, uh, we can ask you a question before I complete why do you think it's the most faster system in the body? Anyone can discuss it with me? Uh, it's the most faster system because it is the responsible for the interaction with our outer environment, external environment, and our internal environment. So, any factor, internal or external, the first uh, barrier and the first uh, reaction will come from the uh, ner nervous system. So, the, uh, as I said here, it is responsible for the body's interaction with the external and internal environment. Next slide. We have also, supporting the nervous system, we have the endocrine system. Uh, the endocrine system, which consists of hypothalamus, pituitary gland, pineal gland, thyroid, parathyroid, thymus, ovary in females, testes in male, and also the placenta during pregnancy, adrenal glands, and pancreas. The endocrine system maintains homeostasis. By what? By not as signals, not electrochemical, it's absolutely chemical. Substances we know that we call um, hormones that will regulate homeostasis and regulate uh, important events in our life, such as growth, such as also reproduction, and um, every sexual event. Yes, sure, good. Uh, I, I have some uh, comment about this uh, important system. Actually, the endocrine and CNS, what of them? share with one word, control, like me here, control, okay, but for this growth, uh, through the growth hormone, which come from the anterior pituitary, to control all the system in the body, the only hormone in the body which have no organ to work is the growth hormone, here, reproduction, okay, from the air also, anterior pituitary, let's create uh, a such an area to control the, uh, the reproductive system, either male or uh, female. Okay? In, in endocrine, what we, what we need is receptor. Uh, we need the receptor because hormone doesn't work without receptor. Yes. Thanks, Bala. Yeah. So, uh, we have the, the body response to the external environment or change by feedback, okay? We have positive feedback and negative feedback. Uh, they are, both of them are processes. The first one, the positive one, as you see here in the picture, it uh, explains briefly the idea. It's a process which the end product action uh, will be amplified, will be more, okay? As uh, my friend will explain in the next slides about the blood clotting. So, as the clotting starts, it will be more and more to stop the uh, clotting of the blood. Uh, negative feedback, okay? Uh, it is a process also, as you see here, the cells or tissue or organs will work in a smart way to make uh, the end product in a uh, lesser or limit limited. 
Good. Give it to the original action. Good. You finish? Yes. Good. To me, I'd like to put negative feedback and then positive feedback. Why? Dr. Yeah, uh, no, something from the audience, my student. No one? Very good. You? Why? Why I? I'd like to put scientific Negative and negative. Because it's more useful, I guess, yes. for the brain. Yes, it's more useful it's for the brain. Yes. yes. Uh, because ne what, is, what is the difference between negative and positive? Okay. Negative is something, okay, is something which is which, uh, which secreted from a, a, a gland, okay, then increase, 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 go to the target, target uh, organ, uh, target organ, when it's tough, you watch, it gives signal, say, to the original uh, sources. Enough. We say enough. This is negative. And yes. And the positive sometimes it can be dangerous for the body also. Most of the positive. all or of the positive feedback are dangerous, yes. except three cases. Okay. These are uh, one of them is uh, born of the baby. Okay. Contraction, 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 contraction. Until okay. The Till the bear. Number one. Number two. Transmission of the signal from me and you and uh, your colleague, okay, this is positive also, okay? okay. And uh, the also uh, positive feedback, I can see it in the search of the LH before ovulation, okay? Uh, this, and, and blood clotting, yes, I forget. Blood clotting also, the system of the blood clotting, uh, as you remember, the schedule of the uh, blood clotting, yeah. that uh, these are positive. Otherwise, positive good. Yeah. Otherwise, every positive is bad for the body. Yes. So, briefly, uh, the positive feedback uh, will amplify the mm -hmm. original action, and negative, it will limit the action. Next. Uh, before the next slide, now I'm going to talk about the positive and the positive with the negative. So, I'm going to see the paper. طيب خلي نفترض انه هذا هو الجزء من الجسم اللي يحتاج فد فلويد معين او اي كان وهنا راح يجينا السورس هذا الفلويد اذا كان النيجاتيف فيدباك تشوفون هنا أنا تدريجة 50 خلينا نقول هنا يصير عندها الهوميستاسيس او يكتفي الجسم عند هذه التدريجة فاذا كان الحاله هي نيجاتيف فيدباك فراح من السورس من يجي راح نجي ندير هنا أنا لما نوصل لل 50 ايش راح يصير؟ طبعا هو مستمر. راح هنا لما راح نجي انسيت هذا يعتبر هسه قطع هو النيجاتيف فيدباك قطع الاكشن وقفه وقفه للحد اللي اكتفى به. اما اذا كانت الحاله بالعكس كانت الحاله ممكن بوزيتيف فيدباك. خلينا نفترض هذا وهنا البوزيتيف فيدباك ايش راح يصير؟ راح يصير انه يزيد المي لحد ما يوصل للحد اللي شنو؟ ينترس من الجلاس ويرجع لنا. أو للحد اللي يخلص منه السورس مثل ما قال الدكتور بالحالة الشايلد بيرف إيش وقت ينتهي البوزيتيف فيدباك ما راح ينتهي إلا لحد ما يصير الشايلد بيرف كونتراكشن يستمر النيرف الترانزميشن تستمر السيجنالز ترانزميشن ترانزميشن لحد ما توصل للتارجت تشو وبحالة البلود كلوفينج راح تستمر بلاتليس تريجرز هورمونز فاكتورز بلاتليس لحد ما يصير بولك بالفسل وتنسيت الرابتشرت يعني كاريا Okay. I have a question for you. Uh, which one of the feedback in, the, in our body is dominant? Yes. yes the negative feedback. Why? Because it's more useful, as the said. Yes. As, excellent. As you said, it is more useful, and the negative feedback will make the body uh, retain to its normal position. يعني راح يرجع الوضعية الطبيعية مثل قبل مثل ما بدأ. Yes. But, yeah, I have comment, yes. yeah, but we always use the positive word for good things, but here is the idea is completely different. Yes, so, uh, here's the point. Yes, yeah, special for the uh, positive, positive and negative feedback. feedback, actually. Next slide, I think. Uh, well, the next slide, uh, here we're going to talk about the feedback loops. Uh, uh, we're going to explain on this diagram, but then we're going to definitions of the cut. عندنا هنا الحالة هي هوميستيسيس ستيبل اجى فد افكتر سوالنا انبرد <تصفيق> شنو هذا راح نعتبره؟ نحن نسميه ستيميوس اللي هو المؤثر 
اللي راح يجي هذا الستيميولوس برودوس تشينج غير لنا حاله الهوميستيسس النقطه الثانيه باللوب هي الديتكتر ذا ديتكتر اللي هي الديتكت ذا تشينج اللي صار في الهوميستيسس اللي هو نسميه ريسبتر او سنسر او ديتكتر بهالحاله راح الانفورميشن تندز بالباثوي الى الكنترول سنتر حالة الاندوكراين نقدر نعتبر الهايبوثالامس جلاند هي كنترول سنتر بحالة النيرفس سيستم نعتبر البرين اللي هو الدومينت كنترول سنتر اوف اول ذا باي ومن الكنترول سنتر راح تندز همينا اشارة مثل ما شرحتها هسه يا اما وقف يا اما زيد حسب بوزيتيف او نيجاتيف فهذه الاشارة راح نعتبرها ونسميها الافكتر الافكتر اللي راح ترجع راح ترجع تحدد لنا ترجع لي الهوميوستيسيس حالة النيجاتيف توقف وترجع هوميستيسيس حالة البوزيتيف الزايد الزايد لحد ما يوصل الجسم للشيء اللي هو يريده وبهالحالة يرجع للهوميستيسيس. هنا أنا مثل ما قلنا شرحت لكم اياه على الدايجرام الستيمولس هي something that disrupts the body's homeostasis a bodily injury or an infection examples of stimuli they disrupts normal process in the body. The sensor can detect the change in homeostasis. Control center in that part of the body that responds to the change and take action. The pituitary gland located near the brain with hypothalamus is a control center of many feedback loops. But I'm not with pituitary. The pituitary is a signal in the hypothalamus. Yes. The effector, the effector is any organ or cell that is a target that responds to the stimulus. طبعاً هنا ناس حسوي لكم فد مسرحية فهمكم هذا الشيء يعني. خلينا نعتبر خلينا نعتبر هنا حسام هو هسه بادي حالة الهوميستيسيس خلينا نعتبر خلينا تعتبرني لي هنا اوكي ما اشترك وياكم بالتمثيل نعتبر حسام هسه هو قاعد على اللابتوب حالة هوميستيسيس اموره عدله كل شيء ماكو مرتاح فال راح اجي اني هسه ايش راح اعتبر؟ انا راح اعتبر الستيمولس اللي راح اثر عليه اجيت اثرت عليه سحبت من المنابر، هسه حسام بحالة هوميستيسيس؟ نعم مو بحالة هوميستيسيس، اكو صار ديستراكس عليه. زين، هالحالة شنو السنسر اللي صار عنده؟ نظرة ضعف. صار عنده سنسر، انه هسه مو هوميستيسيس. امبالانس. صار اكو امبالانس بالموضوع. وين وصلنا؟ وصلنا للكنترول سنتر. نقول دكتور صباح اللي راح يقول له يدس سيجنال لياسر اللي هو الافكتر. ياسر ايش راح يسوي؟ فيكس ذا بوم. يس، فلبس المنابر. We have our first example about the negative feedback, but about body temperature and how it is balanced. Okay, so imagine yourself in a desert or. Walking in the hot summer of Iraq, and you became like a tomato because of the hot weather. Uh, you have heat detection sensors in your skin, who detect the heat that comes from the sun or the weather. The brain will will be affected. The signals will transmit to the brain. The brain will think how to change this uh, this unbalanced state it it will be controlled by the brain by the hypothalamus it will send like as you see here an email or signal to the sweat glands okay so here we have the nervous system and endocrine system will work together to maintain the balance so the sweat glands will produce a sweat on the skin so then it will be the temperature of the skin or the body will be cooled down because of the sweat. So this is the mechanism of how the body maintains its normal body temperature, Good. which is 37 Mo Celsius. Moreover, okay, in the desert, in the, in the hot uh, system, when you are uh, going to have some uh, heavy exercise, there, there will be increase in the ADH. So the quantity of the urine will decrease. Okay. Normally, it is 1,400 uh, 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 ml, it will be uh, about uh, uh, 400 or 500. So, that is the, uh, that is the uh, uh, preserve, not to, not to, not, not 
allowed to increase the temperature, so uh, uh, the, uh, um, the, there will be decrease in the temperature and this, there is water. And the, on the other side, if it is cold, okay, there will be shrinkage in the blood vessels. So there is no sweat outside. Yes. But most of the blood will uh, come to the core of the body. Yes. And here, uh, the second example about the uh, negative feedback, we have the glucose or blood sugar regulation. Okay? So, uh, we have two hormones here to maintain the equilibrium or balance of the glucose or sugar in the blood. Uh, the body maintain it by uh, the glucose by within a normal range. We have a range here. Uh, as you eat a lot, like after a heavy meal containing a lot of sugar or candies, uh, the sugar will rise in the, but, uh, in the blood vessels. So uh, there are detectors will detect uh, this increase in the blood. And then will the insulin is secreted by the pancreas. The insulin is a hormone, chemical hormone, that will make, uh, I will explain with the diagram here, we have this, the polis, okay? Imagine this uh, hormone, insulin hormone, mm -hmm. will make this cell uh, 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 eat a lot of glucose. So the insulin will make the glucose enter into the cell. So it will decrease the glucose in the blood. So, يعني راح تخلي الخلية تدخل glucose أكثر للخلية. زين إذا صار بالعكس يعني الجلوكوز قل بالبلاد فيسلز اوكي اكو هرمون له اسمه جلوكاجون هذا عكس الانسولين يشتغل لما البلاد جلوكوز ليفلز فولز داون اور بيلو ذا نورمال رينج از يو ميك هيفي اكسرسايزز اور يو دونت ايت ا لوت اوف شوجر فود شوجر فود اوكي ذا بنكرياس will release glucagon. It is a hormone effect on liver to produce glucose. Okay? Good. So, for pancreas, it works as endocrine. Endocrine. Endocrine, by either insulin, if in the body, a lot of sugar. And if there's no much sugar, so I have to take the sugar from glycogen which is found in the liver and sometimes in the muscle, okay? So, insulin, glucagon, endocrine, two hormones, one opposite the other. This is endocrine system. For the exocrine system, as bacteria has, when there is a digestion. When there is digestion, so there is some secretion in the GIT. Yes, it's right, I think. So, uh, who knows why, why we use glucose in our body? Okay. It's the main source of energy for the body. Good. Good. That's correct. So, the cells use glucose in cellular respiration in order to make ATP energy. So, glucose means energy of the body. Next time. Yes. By the way. Glucose, insulin, the brain doesn't need insulin when uh, when it needs glucose. The only organ in the body does not need insulin as the brain because there is no time. I need the glucose, okay? I don't need insulin. Go insulin, okay? I, I, I'm in brain. I don't need your insulin to come here, okay? I'm brain, so my activity doesn't wait for insulin to come to brain to work. Yes, of course. Sir, what if uh, the glucose level is not uh, well regulated, well controlled in the brain? Yes, the so the brain in this case is the most affected uh, uh, system in the body, okay? Yes. If you have a low, a low glucose, okay, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have a, a lot of, the, the brain will be affected by what we call coma. It will be coma. Okay? Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia and coma, okay? So, for diabetic patient, for diabetic patient, okay, uh, sometimes diabetic patient come, come to us, co collapsed, coma. Oh, I don't know if he's hypoglycemic or hypoglycemic, okay? I 
all, always diabetic patient should have uh, some chocolate, some candy in the bottle. Why? Because if I increase the blood sugar, it's, it's okay. Even, even he's hyperglycemic because there is no effect to the brain. But if, if he's hyperglycemic, there will be some damage to the brain. Okay? The damage to the brain is irreversible. So we always ask the diabetic patient to keep some sugar. Yes. If he's comatose, okay, give him sugar. He's, he's, this coma is for hyperglycemic, okay, give more. No harm. Okay, but if he is hypoglycemic and you are not going to give him sugar, no, you are going to uh, do some damage to the brain with, 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 with always a reversal. Next slide. So, uh, here I'm going to talk about the uh, problem here. Uh, the endocrine, uh, the bacteria is disturbed. We have type 1 diabetes. Uh, which, is, uh, which is a disorder by which the pancreas doesn't uh, release insulin. So there will be a problem. The glucose will not enter into the cells. So uh, the, the patient should take uh, insulin injections in order to make the insulin get inside the cell. So we need insulin in order to take the glucose into the cell so the cells make ATV. Good. This is type one uh, diabetic. Always they call juvenile. Okay, hereditary. No insulin. Type two is okay. Treatable. Okay, because uh, there is some regulation in the food and that's it. Okay. We can, type, we, type one more dangerous. We can control it by injections. And yes. Diet. Yes. Next slide, please. So we have our heroes here. The insulin hormone and glucagon hormone. They will regulate blood sugar in your blood every day. Excellent. Another example of the negative feedback is the blood pressure. The blood pressure, uh, first before we talk here, uh, what is blood pressure? Anyone, anyone can define it to me? Yes, Carlos? It's the force exerted by the uh, blood vessel walls on the blood. But it's by the blood flow? Yes, on the uh, walls of the vessels. All the, in the exactly, room. exactly. Uh, so, uh, blood pressure uh, remains with uh, a normal value in homeostasis, in homeostasis condition. In a stable condition, it remains with a normal value about uh, 80 for uh, diastolic and 120 20. for systolic. And uh, with uh, this normal limit, uh, through uh, how does it maintain, how it's balanced? By utilization of rapid and slow mechanisms, we have both uh, two uh, mechanisms. One of them increase that uh, blood pressure and one decrease it. So working together to uh, maintain it in the stable uh, state. Uh, and uh, as I said here, uh, the power receptor reflects one of these uh, mechanisms that involved in regulating blood pressure. احنا عندنا بالجسم طبعا شو راح نعرف الجسم شو راح يعرف يعني انه صار انكريز او ديكريز بالبلد بريشر اكيد يعني مو واحد راح يجي يقول لي شو ذيرز سبيشال ريسبتورز ذات ذي ويل صح عندنا بالبلد فيسلز اكو ريسبتورز اللي راح من يصير عندنا ديكريز او انكريز تعطي سيجنالز الكنترول سنتر طبعا تلاحظون انه كل اللي بدنا نحكي حكيته انا او حكاه حسام هو نفس الشيء انه بدنا نتبع اللوب اللي شرحتها بالبدايه كلها تتبع نفس فصار عندنا اكو افكتر شنو هذا افكتر؟ تكريز او انكريز بالبلود بريشر صار عندنا سنسر شنو هو سنسر؟ البارا ريسبتر وهسه لازم اكو عندنا كنترول سنتر الكنترول سنتر طبعا يكون بالميدل اوف لانجاتل هو نسميه الكارديو انهبيتوري سنتر اللي هذا الكارديو انهبيتوري سنتر طبعا هنا هي البارو ريسبتورز قبل ما انتقل للكنترول سنتر البارو ريسبتورز وين تكون موجوده؟ موجوده مكانيا بالجسم واحد هنا وواحد هنا يقول اول واحد وين؟ اوتر ايوه اند كمون كارتود سينس صح عندنا الكارتود سينس هنا تكون بالنك وعندنا اكيد بالاورتا هنا البارو ريسبتورز بالاركو بالاورتا وهذني الريسبتورز راح تستقبل الستيمولس 
راح ندس سيجنال للكنترول سنتر اللي هو بالمثل الله نسميه كارديو انهبيتري سنتر الكارديو انهبيتري سنتر بدوره من اسمه انهبيتري راح يسوي لنا انهبيشن اذا هذا الحكي بدي احكي اذا صار عندي انكريز بالبلد بريشر حيسوي لي انهبيشن المن الفازو موتور سنتر اللي هو مسؤول ان يعطيني سيجنال للهارت ماسل اللي هي راح تقلل الهارت ريت اذا صار عندي وصلت اني من البارو سيكتر والسنسر للكنترول سنتر راح بالافرنت باث واي لل افكتر اللي هو الهارت هي مصل كارتيك مصل اللي راح يسوي لنا سلو داون بالعكس طبعا هذا الحكي هسه حكيته كونسيست اوف سيكتر سنسوري نيرفز اندلا اوبرانجاتا موتور نيرفز اول وركينج توجذر ان سيستم والانذر رابيد ميكانيزم اللي هو ريجيليشن By the secretion of epinephrine. إذا هسا عندنا هم أنا أكو. Sorry, I have some comment for the previous step, please. Okay. So in this case, we have three words: normotensive, hypertensive, and hypotensive. Okay. This this baroreceptor is found on the wall. Okay. When there is a lot of fluid. It will push on this wall, and this wall gives signal to the medulla. In this case, okay, in this case, there is what we call a negative feedback mechanism. The wall will be will, will say, okay, oh no, I have a, a lot of blood pressure here. Okay, I have a lot of blood here. Okay, to the signal. here to the medulla, mm -hmm. and this will order the heart to slow down. Okay. When it will be slowed down, it will be beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, in the case of uh, decreased uh, heart rate, we have a hormone called epinephrine. A common name of epinephrine is adrenaline, produced by the adrenal glands. The epinephrine and norepinephrine, they, uh, by the adrenal gland, they work to uh, increase the heart rate of the body and increase the flow of the blood to the, all the muscles and thus increasing the heart rate. By the way, okay. these two hormones secreted from the adrenal medulla. Yeah. Okay? Adrenal gland, what is adrenal gland? Adrenal, adrenal gland is about on what? Then I say arachin alem to what mm -hmm. kidneys, okay? Adrenal medulla is not endocrine. It's CNS, part of the CNS. Number one. Number two. Epinephrine and, and norepinephrine, adrenaline, norepinephrine, both of them is called catecholamine. Thank you. The power receptors, uh, uh, sends, send signals to the medulla oblongata and the brain to the cardio inhibitory center, the vasomotor center. I don't know Next. Uh, we have levels of blood gases. We have uh, in our in our blood CO2 mm -hmm. and O2, oxygen and carbon dioxide. If any change happens, the respiratory tract will detect this change. So if the CO2 or carbon dioxide is high, the, the here the respiratory system will send signal to the stem of the brain. Okay, so the brain will take action will send signals to the uh, to the lungs or diagram and the muscles that involved in the respiration to take deep breaths and to res make respiration more deep. Yes, so I, would, I would like to inter interrupt you actually. I, I, we can see here, actually this is the first time I see this slide, okay? When you do exercise, okay, and you need more oxygen for that, okay, you see, <sighs> What's that? That you need more oxygen because you have a lot of CO2. You want to get rid from the CO2. Oh, go ahead. So as you said, if you do exercise, the muscles will, uh, will consume more oxygen yes. in order to uh, oxygen, retain this oxygen. Uh, deep breaths will be taken. Yeah. Okay. And this is actually, this is a type of energy which is uh, which is found uh, well, actually I have three type of energy okay uh, one and two is not oxygenated oxygenated when you you have some exercise which is 
more than uh, maybe a few minutes to two or three or four hours. Okay, this uh, uh, you are talking about oxygenated blood. You are talking about oxygen. You are talking about something bad to the oxygen, which is CO2. You are talking about increasing the breathing. Yes. So more uh, deeper breaths will be taken here in order to maintain the normal level of oxygen in the blood. So I guess that's enough for negative feedback. I had an ISOL and I think you are going to finish your presentation with the positive feedback and you are going to take one sample uh, or one example of three or four examples. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're gonna, uh, so now we're going to talk about the positive feedback. Uh, we're uh, going to take the example of uh, blood clotting. So the blood clotting is we have also a cycle or a loop. First, we start with the stimuli. The mother, in the last one. The stimuli is like this. We have this blood vessel. We have stimuli like this. We have interrupts. We have a cut. Cut. The walls. الاندوثيليم إذا وصلت للاندوثيليم بالفاسل هذه الحالة هي تحصل عندنا break بالبلود فاسل وول من صار عندنا هذا البريك بالبلود فاسل طبعا عندنا داخل الاندوثيليم أكو ال راح تتعرض للكولاجين اللي هي تعتبر من الكلوتين فاكتور من تتعرض للكولاجين راح يسوي تريجر للبلاتلس اللي هي small cell fragments البلاتلس اللي هي موجودة بالبلاط بالبلازما يعني تجري البلاط بالبلاط وهذه البلاتلس شو راح سوينا؟ راح سوينا secreting the more hormones or factors of the clotting the clotting هنا نحن شو صلنا؟ عندنا أكلو سايكل حالة مفرغة للصير بس أنا شرحت الـ positive feedback هم تتبع اللوب الأصلي بس هنا حتكون حالة مفرغة لحد ما نوصل لحد اللي يريد الجسم فلما ال هذه سكريتيد أو سبستانسز راح سوينا تريجرين المور بلاتلس مور بلاتلس سكريتين مور لا ااا سبستانسز سبستانسز تريجر بلاتلس وإلى النهاية لما يصير عندنا كلوت سدنا هذا yes this is what we mean by positive positive more more enzyme more enzyme more reaction more reaction more reaction till the platelet till the fibrin and the fibrin is going to come here and will end the positive feedback. Uh, exactly, the fibrinogen will convert into fibrin and uh, that does how we uh, close the uh, entrops area of the blood vessel. So next slide. As we said here that uh, the prothrombin will convert it to thrombin so that thus uh, converting the fibrinogen to fibrin and forming the clot. Uh, the clot is a bulk. We have um, called them the platelets that uh, triggered to the uh, interrupted area of the vessel and occluded. And here is a diagram. You can have a look on it and uh, in order to understand this uh, positive feedback. Look. Look, for positive feedback, sometimes it is positive good and sometimes it is bad. Good when there is a bleeding clot and bad when this clot is Go through the blood and cause the yes. Uh, stop some blood vessel, okay, and will uh, 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 do a harm thing. Uh, harm to the blood. Yes, especially yeah. in, in the, the brain. brain. Yes. And the coronary artery. Yes. Is also a common yeah, place of for. Of course, the yes. For, for myocardial infarction. Yes. Yeah. Yes, most commonly it is. So, uh, as we hear, uh, un we understood the positive and negative feedback, we understood our homeostasis, and in the end, the final uh, slide, uh, in the end, I hope you have a good day full of homeostasis. Thank you very much for your good presentation, and I hope that we can do another subject, okay, for the uh, increasing science. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.